greetings to you all. My name is Dumeli Twai, JICA ex-participant uh, from Namibia. In 2019, I was uh, fortunate enough to be selected for young leadership training in Japan. Uh, the training was based uh, on teaching methodologies, uh, mathematics and science in elementary uh, schools. This training was an opportunity that opened up a lot of things in me. Uh, the training had a very positive impact on me and uh, after returning to Namibia, I was indeed a different educator. Today, I would like to share with you all uh, what I call the impact of the training on me. Together with uh, other participants in Namibia, we have managed to share our knowledge and skills that we have acquired from various JICA trainings. Um, this, we have shared these skills and knowledge um, with the teachers in Namibia from four regions. This was done then through the workshops that were organized by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture together with JICA. Um, apart from plowing back to in our education system, we have also learned many things during this training. And I am able to give uh, any presentation at this point of time because after conducting or facilitating during those trainings, I gained skills and knowledge and at this point of time, I'm able to manage uh, facilitating any sort of uh, training. So this is um, an addition or a benefit that I believe uh, came because of this training. Furthermore, with this uh, training, uh, JICA training, I was also able to be part of the national online learning during COVID-19. During this time, schools were closed and I was fortunate enough to be called and facilitate this, train, this um, online learning. We were responsible for creating material, learning materials, um, content creation, meaning we were live on TV, uh, teaching the whole nation when it comes to grade 4 to 7 mathematics and science and, um, and this, uh, some of this content are also available online and uh, I'll also drop the link so that uh, one can go through and view and watch them. Um, even though I have uh, accomplished many uh, one of the thing, the most achievement that I believe is above all is KTB learning support. I have come up with an idea of creating KTB Academy and Foundation or KTB uh, learning support. This foundation or a non-profit organization is meant to help learners in the afternoon with teaching and learning whereby after they have done with their schools we are able to assist them to do their homework in their in the right ways and also to prepare them for assessment this also gives an opportunity for learners to stay out of the street and also make sure that um, the academic uh, journey is well managed and well monitored at all times Thank you very much. Of course, this is just a copy and paste from a center also that is giving the same in Japan. But our core value or our core aim is that we 
concentrate more on numeracy and literacy because most of our learners uh, in senior primary they cannot read and that is the aim that we want to fix that the 10 schools are under the keep them busy program which the learners attend from 2 o'clock in the afternoon to 5 o'clock during the week the program's main objective is to assist the learners with homework assessment preparation computer learning and sporting activities so ktb i believe have changed many lives of uh, children when it comes to their academic journey and of course this program will continue and uh, i believe it will grow from one year to another as it have at this point of time we are talking about 60 learners while we only started with five learners another impact that uh, has derived from the, the this training is that uh, whenever volunteers come to namibia from japan uh, for their respective duties and responsibilities they always uh, visit my school first they have to observe my lessons and it also gives them an opportunity to interact with a namibian child and understand uh, how they uh, the children in namibia behave this um, initiative is possible and it is uh, working it's a success because of edmunda de sosa uh, i think uh, Edmunda and Jaika team, uh, Jaika offices, uh, office in Namibia, they are the uh, main brain uh, behind this initiative and we are, we are very happy and um, feel supported all the time because our Jaika office here in Namibia is, is doing quite good with, uh, with us, the experts and, and with me personally, uh, I think if it wasn't because of Edmunda de Sosa, most of the things maybe could be could be down. We are talking about uh, uh, her passion with education is what is making us to do more. You know, if you have support of uh, a person who is who wants this to be done in this way and who knows the vision and uh, the aims of this whole thing, then it's always a success and, and uh, we, we, we do more because we have that support from the JICA office. We talk about Mr. Nawiseb, the man himself, uh, principal of Namibia Primary School, uh, the management of Namibia Primary School. We talk about Mr. Yambo, Ms. Kandingwa, um, and many, many, many uh, teachers from Namibia Primary School. These people uh, did um, everything possible to, to accommodate uh, our work and always allow us to, to conduct any uh, education business. And um, uh, other departments are, for example, the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture. We have uh, subject advisories and our chief, Ms. Benjamin, and many more. So it's uh, the learners who showed the interest and willing to learn through us. And, and it's a lot of people who never uh, finish mentioning them here. So um, maybe uh, the colleagues, my team that I went with to Japan, <laughs> Manuel from Angola, uh, is, is very supportive. He follow KTB and follows everything that we are doing and, uh, and many more. Uh, we, we have a lot of colleagues and, and uh, we have also my brother Mahmoud from Egypt and Ghana also and South Africa, Every, everyone. Um, we we appreciate and, and this is only possible because of uh, all these uh, individuals we have done uh, much and give us support. Uh, support from our late uh, former president, uh, Dr. Hagen uh, Um Support from the teachers of KTV and, and everyone. ATB at the moment is uh, 
is doing well uh, even though my days at KTB are very few but Mr. Aruka himself uh, and his team they are doing quite a good job and uh, they are doing everything possible to make sure that the learners are assisted and all is what. That being said, I'll be left with one item that is not yet accomplished uh, from the list of 2019 Deki in Japan. So that will be now for me to apply for masters in computer science or computer engineering and then complete with my doctorate thereafter. So I'll finish, I'll be applying uh, for my masters in 2025 in 2026 and um, as soon as I get accepted or go through I will continue with my masters in Japan and thereafter finish with my doctorate so with that um, my list will be completed and all will be well Thank you all.